Black Journal now reports on the question of urban renewal, or is it black removal? In Philadelphia, 50,000 people, mostly black, have been moved, uprooted, and displaced. Families and friends broken up. Neighborhoods which once lived are now ghost towns. Mrs. Eloise Holmes thought urban renewal meant the tearing down of slums. So she and her neighbors repaired their homes and the homes of absentee landlords. They painted and scrubbed, swept and repaired their neighborhood. For this, they received the Clean Block Award from the city, and then the university expansion program swept them away. I said to him, why can't you expand straight up Broad Street? Why do you have to take the homes of people who have suffered, struggled, and believe me, when you buy a home in this city and finish paying for it, you have gone through something. Now we are at the age where we want to settle down and live, thinking that we have made a wise investment. So you say it's slums, who calls them? The absentee landlords because they take everything out of the community and put nothing back. We were asked to leave in March. March 31st was a deadline. The house is still standing. They're boarded up. These boarded houses is creating quite a nuisance in that area. There have been rapes and uh, wives have been dragged going to stores uh, in those old vacant houses and molested. The life is, is, is being just drained out by eminent domain, by urban renewal. I work with people who are removed by urban renewal. You see children who don't know where they're going, who says, why is the bulldozer tearing down my house? I kind of like my house, even if it isn't the best house. It is a community. You see people saying, I identify with this community. My friends are next door. My neighbors are down the street. I know these people, I have known them for 30 years. These are the, some of the things that hurt with urban renewal, living with people from day to day. Because we have come down to a situation right now of just strictly survival within the black community. The woman who lives in this apartment, if you can call it that, requested that her face not be shown because she was afraid of reprisals from Urban Renewal and the University of Chicago. Nobody have done nothing to me, not uh, even the Urban New. They fooled me. They say when I move, they gonna, they're going to give me $500 for moving. Plus, they were going to pay my um, moving expenses. And I don't know about the moving expenses, but they haven't gave me nothing. Everything they're doing, they're taking everything from me. I'm living here, don't have no kind of protection. The rooms have lock on them, but the locks are not very good. You can take a hard push and push the locks off. And last Saturday, the man came in. I don't know how he came in, but uh, ever since I've been living here, I had to lock up in one room, me and my kids. So if I want to sit up late at night, excuse me, watch television, I had to take the television in one room and lock myself off in there. Anything my kids want, like through the night, get hungry. I had to get that before I go to bed, bring everything in the room, water, food, baby milk, the diapers, anything that my kids need, and me too. Because I'd be too scared to cross the hall in, in this house. To many, the remarks that have been made by these black people may seem extreme, but they are supported by statistics from a survey made in Philadelphia for the University of Pennsylvania. 20% of the displaced families had not been contacted by Urban Renewal or the university, except when served an eviction notice. Neither had they received moving expenses to which by law they were entitled. 30% had received moving expenses, but received no help in relocation or financing to which they were also entitled. 30% of the people had been seen and interviewed by Urban Renewal officials, but were not relocated by the city and were forced to relocate on their own. The people you have just seen are but a few examples. According to recent statistics, there are 3,000 in Chicago, 5,000 in New York, and 60,000 in Philadelphia, and the list goes on. And as the numbers continue, there is another growing number. The number of people that are asking the question, is this urban renewal or black removal? <laughs>